Hey, what's up guys? It's Alan with Garage and Finax, and today we are checking out these badass adjustable dumbbells. This is gonna be a thorough review where I compare these to other adjustable dumbbells in the market, and I explain to you guys why I think these are currently the best adjustable dumbbells for people pushing over 100 pounds consistently on the daily. This is probably their best bet, so let's get this started. All right guys, so I wanna show you guys the construction of these dumbbells. So these are made in Canada. Um, let me unscrew this knob right here. If you can see, there's knurling on the side. I really like that. And then, so you guys can see, this is steel, really thick threading. That's not going anywhere. That's getting really in there. Makes the user feel really, really safe versus like bow flexes, other adjustable dumbbells out there. Not as solid. You know, for these guys pushing like, a these adjust up to 150, by the way, the ones I have. They're adjustable to 200 pounds, but for the guys pushing like 150, 200 over their head, they want this, they want thick threading holding these dumbbells. So that's why I think these are excellent. Um, let, me let me remove that. If you look right here, the, the welds to the handles are really nice. The handles really thick, um, mild to passive knurling, passive to mild, um, really in the middle. I, I like the knurling, not too aggressive, not too soft. And then my favorite part are these steel plates. Um, so, these allow you to make a really, really compact dumbbell because uh, these are 12.5s and they don't take up much room. If we put them flat, you know, we could stack a lot of these. We'll get to 100 pounds right away and it'll only be like this thick. I'm gonna show you guys that later in the video, but this is one huge reason why I like these dumbbells. All right guys, so this is the stand it comes with. It's quite simple, has four weight pegs. I put the 12.5s in the back, 10s right here, fives here, and then it has a little shelf right here. Uh, this is where I put the 2.5s and 1.25s. Um, these are kind of a, take a while to adjust. So it's really cool to have the plates organized like that so you can do it easily. Uh, something I recommend if you guys get this. Um, but with that said, let's get started with the most exciting part of the video, drop testing. So with, for this drop test, I'm gonna do a drop test with 50 pounds, 100 pounds, and then 150. So without further ado, let's do it. Garage and fanatics, do everything right. Cut the video, Scott. We can see it torque quite a bit. Um, we're gonna go ahead and screw it back in and, and go again. Um, I think what happens is this threading needs to go all the way through for it to like be as strong as possible. But I'm gonna try to bend that back because. I like these and I don't want them to fuck up. So. Fuck. Yeah, they're better now. All right, so I threw them out in the street all weird and, and they kind of torqued a bit. Not too happy about that. Um, Cause I actually really like these and I want to keep them in great shape. But um, as you can see, it's a little torqued. Um, but I did drop them in the street and I did kind of throw them at an angle. It's gonna be 110 pounds drop test from, I guess like a realistic height. I'm just gonna like, kind of like throw it. Not bad. I'm gonna get an angle throw at it. Not bad. Didn't torque. Um, one thing I want to say is maybe the reason that one messed up is because like this threading, um, you know, if I'm putting like a bunch of plates on it, it barely gets in there. Versus this one, it's a lot longer. So like the threading goes more into the handle. So that's something to keep in mind. There you have it folks, 150 pounds. Drop test. If you zoom in, you can see the handle's kind of torquing, so I'll be real with you guys. All those companies set these out here. Um, this is slightly disappointing for it to be torquing like that. Um, especially because I know a lot of you out there push this weight consistently. 150s on incline, you just dump them at the angle. Um, you don't want to be seeing this, so something to keep in mind. 
maybe my drops are a bit exaggerated. Like, you know, obviously you're not supposed to like completely dump or, or drop dumbbells like that. Like you're supposed to kind of set them down or just not completely let them go. So yeah, I still think this is the best option. I've seen the Pepin dumbbells out there and they're not even comparable. Um, but I do wish this dumbbell wouldn't have torqued so bad. So with that said, it's been Garage and Fanatics. Thanks for watching guys. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of these. I still think they're the best option out there, um, but who knows, maybe there's better options. Uh, one thing to prevent stuff like this from happening is allowing the handle to spin so it takes in some of that torque and that torque doesn't really like, you know, cause the handle to, to, to you know, torque like this and stay in, in a different position besides being straight. So something to keep in mind for the dumbbell uh, creators out there. But thanks for watching guys. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Peace.